big news of the day was that local female emo outfit, Surly Wench Suicide, who of course used to open up for Meat Guzzler and a gracious zombie who unfortunately had a drop out of the Sunset Junction Festival that was cancelled last week, apparently according to some unpaid bills, has announced that they will now be on the road with terrific KCRW band Hamstring and the Goat, which is very exciting. Of course, the lead singer of Hamstring and the Goat is Gary Agnostic, who at one point was a guitar player for Fear of the Radish, um, of course, whose latest song was sampled by local Los Angeles underground hip-hop crew Mad Conscious, which um, features producer DJ rapper Walter, the somewhat creative, as well as MC David Copperfield, and they are very excited to be back on the road right now with a, another Atwater Village band. Um, of course, I'm talking about Ringo Teeth, who, as you know, opened up the Sala de Espera radio program two weeks ago in South San Paulo, Brazil, which is where we had a live broadcast here on KCRW, of course. I'm not on KCRW now, I'm guesting here on Indy1031.com where I just received note that Los Feliz Mambo band Snappy and the Gamorian Guards will be opening up the Echo Park Music Night next November 13th with fellow Los Feliz DJ Garfield the Frisky Porch Cat as well as rapper Flo Namath who, besides being one of the most talented lyricists in the game, also has produced many underground rap songs for rappers like Echo Park Band, Penile Oatmeal, <coughs> as well as Waffle Goat, who, of course, just announced they will be joining Chonch Zapper on the Greek Theatre Tour and the Hotel Cafe Midwinter Tour, which will take them to Austin, Texas, which is where, of course, we at KCRW go every year to cover the latest bands, especially in the hip-hop world, where last year we uncovered rappers Hank Skilliams, Brad Spit, and, of course, Flo Piscopo, who is incredibly talented and has been seen in Brooklyn opening up for local Brooklyn band the Yippity Yip Yippies. Um, who are extremely talented. They're led by former child actress Danica McKellar, a.k.a. Winnie Cooper, who started a band and are incredibly, terrifically talented. They play entire shows with tap shoes, garbage can lids, paint buckets, and yak carcasses. But right now we're going to go into our latest song from Indie 1031 Band and KCRW Darlings. Of course, I'm talking about Goose Uterus. <laughs> They're extremely talented. The lead singer, Fab Glorious, is uh, incredibly talented, and he used to be in the band Prairie Dog Titifuck, who, of course, have a new record coming out on Sub-Zero in the winter. So please enjoy Goose Uterus and their latest song. This is called Shrine. It's great. I'm going to go have a smoke. I'm going to go have a smoke. 